Hello, thank you for joining me today. Today's topic is about setting up efficient office meetings and what needs to happen in order to have an office, efficient office meeting. The very first thing about an office meeting is that in all aspect of management, there has to be an agenda. Create an agenda of all the directives that you want to discuss. By having an agenda, there will be focus, there will be direction, but most of all, there will be an understanding of what type of material do you want me to prepare and what type of documentation do you want me to bring to this meeting so that we can have a best meeting possible. Without an agenda, I have no clue. And too often, doctors have meetings, staff have meetings, and they discuss issues but not having an agenda. You see, without the agenda, it's just going to be completely, completely up to the speaker to drive the meeting. Nothing will get done at the end of that meeting. You might discuss one or two issues, but it will not be concrete and it will not be able to be determining factor. Because it's just spread out. It's just too open. With an agenda, you will not only have a clear outline, but you will have certain specific points that need to be discussed. So that's the first thing, the agenda. Now that you have the agenda, you need to have within the agenda the points that are marked. Every agenda needs to be clearly defined. Number one, discuss front desk. Number two, discuss back office. Number three, check collections. Number four, patient you know, uh, a treatment. Whatever the case may be, should be clearly outlined. If material is needed, if any kind of material or documentation or any type of paperwork is needed to make that point clearer, then you should have copies for everyone in the meeting. So, again, we have the agenda. We now have all the titles of the issues that we want to discuss during that meeting. The next thing is in advance to be sure that all the material that's necessary is prepared and put together and copies given to everyone so we don't have to pass it around everyone and let everybody read it. Once the agenda, once the meeting starts, the meeting needs to be separated in three different sections. The very first meeting portion should be about positive attitude. What is it that we want to talk about? What is it that we have to discuss? The first minute and a half comes in with a positive attitude saying, this is a great meeting, I appreciate everyone to be here, I want everyone participation, I'm glad that everyone is here, it's a beautiful day outside, let's, let's make this meeting a, form, a, 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 a formidable type of, uh, a type of uh, understanding so that each and every one of us can work together. Start with a positive note, whatever it may be, even if it's one minute or two minutes long, something to give everyone a positive uh, 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 outlook onto what's going to happen. At that moment, however, we now stop and we start going with the gripes. This is the time to discuss all the negative that's going on in the office. Take out all the problems. Every one of the issues that you want to discuss, take them all out. The copy machine is broken. We need more help in the back office. We must stop the drip in the back office. We must make sure that collections are greater. We have to ensure that everybody comes on time. Whatever the issues are, they're all laid out in the agenda. Discuss them, get them all out of the way, and take one of them at a time. Once all those issues and the problems have been outlined and clearly stated, and even though everyone has an agenda in front of them, there are stated, and everybody says their piece about it, finish with them. Second part has to do with the solutions. Okay, we've mentioned that continuously in the office, four members or five members out of the office complain about the fact that the copy machine is not working, and also that we continuously have to take care of this issue with the water dripping in one of the back rooms. And also, the doctor mentioned that we have this constant issue that the collections are not being followed through and co-pays are a problem. All those are the problems we mentioned. What are the solutions to these issues? Whoever puts the meeting together needs to ask of the person who is in charge of the department to come up with the answer to that solution. What is the solution to that? If someone comes to me and says, 
Dr. Nehan, we have an issue with a copy machine. Okay? That's the issue. Fine. Copy machine is broken. Now, what should I do about it? I'm certainly not the one who can repair it. I tell you for a fact that I have no clue where to even begin. I tell you for a fact that I wouldn't even know whether or not this machine is repairable. I don't know. But I do know that we may have a contract with the company that services our machine. I also do know that you know where that number is, and I also know for a fact that we are paying a fee so that this machine is maintained. So if the machine is broken, why not take the steps to go ahead and call the company that fixes it so that it could be resolved? So the problem is the machine is continuously broken. Solution, how to resolve it? Go ahead and call the company and fix it. Well, now the next issue may be, well, we've done that already several times, and therefore it's not helping. Fine. What's the solution? I guess we have to buy a new machine. If that's the solution, it doesn't need a long meeting for this. We don't need to go all of the steps. That's the solution. That's what needs to be resolved. So therefore, on the agenda should be written, copy mach machine problem. That's the issue. And the solution is get new contract with new service company, B A, or B, possibly buy a new machine. Obviously, this is an issue that may not want to be discussed in front of the whole staff as an office meeting. But I'm taking this as an example if that is part of the office meeting. It could be scheduling issue. If we have a scheduling issue, what is the problem? Patients are coming in late. Patients are not being called back. Patients are being called back, but they're still showing up late. Missing appointments is still an issue in our office. At the same time, patients are coming in, they're signing in, and we're, we're not taking action. That is the issue. What is the solution? I never go into a meeting without having a list of the issues and the list of the solutions. I want to know what is my staff doing, what is all of the team that I've put together doing to resolve those issues. I need to know this in advance and everyone around this meeting needs to hear that. So when I'm having a meeting, therefore we can all communicate on possibly option A, B or C not trying to figure out or mastermind or somehow, you know, brainstorm together on what solutions can be added. That's not the point of the meeting. The meeting is to clarify the point, quantify the solution, and act upon it. That's it. That's what the meeting is. Meetings should not last more than 30 minutes. The first 30 minutes is to talk about all the gripes, all the issues. The first 10 minutes out of 30. The second 10 minutes is to discuss all the issues that are going to be resolved. And the last 10 minutes needs to focus on all of the aspect of the goals that we want for the following week. So 10 minutes of gripes, 10 minutes of solutions, and 10 minutes of focused goals for the following week. 30 minutes. It amazes me sometimes that some of these meetings last 30, 40, 50 minutes, sometimes an hour and 10 minutes. And everybody walks out of there saying, wow, great, it was... We really discussed it. I'm glad it happened. And guess what? The following week, same issue. The following month, same issue. Why? There was no agenda. Or if there was an agenda, no one came up with a solution. Or if there were solutions, no one took minutes. In every single minute, there need, in every single meeting, there needs to be minutes. The meeting minutes are the record of all the information of the resolution of the issues that were at hand. If there was an issue discussed, that resolution that we all took together and agreed upon, whether we had to vote about it, whether we discussed it, or whether we agreed, whatever the issue is, that resolution needs to be written down in a minute. That becomes the goal of the following week. To give you an example, Copays are not being collected on a regular basis. We have an issue. That's the issue. So the issue will be written in the agenda lack of copay collections. Just not there. Solution better training and ensure that all copays that are due should be written the night before on the schedule so that the front desk person knows in the morning 
this is what needs to be collected. All right. So that's the resolution. So now we come to the meeting and we see the first item on the agenda. Copays. So I'm going to discuss it and everybody gives their attention of why it's not collected and, and how this is a problem. And, and I myself, as the doctor of the clinic, I'm going to say this is also a pain to me because it hurts our collections. It hurts our pocketbook. And as you know, without the money coming in, I can't pay the bills. I can't make the clinic grow. I can't do marketing. I can't develop the system. I can't help us be where we want to be. That's what it's all about. So everyone has told the gripes. Everyone has discussed the issues. The next point has to do with the resolution. This is what we've decided to do. We've decided that we are going to be more assertive about it, that we're going to write a list of all the patients who owe the money, that we're going to make that happen. Someone at that moment needs to write on the minutes of what solutions have been taken. And the goal is to check that for the following week between today, which let's say today is Monday, between this Monday and next Monday, that the goal is we collect 100% of all patients' copay when they come in. That's the goal. All this should be discussed within that 30 minutes lap. So you have 10 minutes to bring up the issues, 10 minutes to bring up the solutions, and 10 minutes to discuss the goals. While somebody's taking notes as to what the resolutions are. Not the, not the agenda, because the agenda is already written up in advance. Not what the solutions are, because that was also written in advance. And by the way, when I say the agenda, I don't mean great details about every single issue that you can think of. The agenda only lists the titles of what the issue is. Copay. That's all you have to say is one word. When we talk about the resolution or the solution or the way to resolve this matter, we're not talking about a four-page resume. We're talking about one-liner. Create the night before a schedule of all payments due. That's it. One-liner. And when we talk about the goals, it's also one-liner. Between this Monday until next Monday, there will be 100% collection. That's all it is. So, basically, all of these resolutions, all of these meetings, all of these uh, uh, minutes that we've been taking together are focused. This is a successful meeting. This is how you can maximize the meeting. And this is how, in a meeting, not only can you accommodate yourself, but you can communicate that information better to the other persons. If a meeting is well developed, if a meeting is well understood, if a meeting is focused and the energy within that meeting is with a positive attitude and everybody knows and understands and believes that we're working together as a team, then the results will be just as good, positive, successful, extremely enthusiastic, but by all means very, very helpful. By having such a meeting, you will benefit. The staff will benefit, and everybody has a greater day. Know that not everything will get done, but that's why we have tomorrow. Know that not everything will be done the way that you want to, but that's why we have patience. And know that even though some of those things have been given and there are directives, and even though you've had the patience to wait until tomorrow, it might not be done the way that you want to today. And that's why we have tolerance. So, we thank God for giving us tomorrow so we can do some of the things we did not finish today. We acknowledge God's greatness in this world by being patient and focusing on the issue at hand and by being tolerant of others when they mess up. I don't want you to think, however, that tolerance and patience and knowing that we can do tomorrow, is another word for procrastinating, don't worry, and patience, let it all go until it ever comes through. And tolerance means whatever you want to do, I'm tolerant of you. No, that's not what it means. It means use proper judgment, but at the same time do it with kindness. It means be assertive, but at the same time do it with respect. It means be certainly on a focused basis, continuously looking at your goals, but do it with some type of understanding that in this world, some things will just get done in a different way, 
but as long as it's there and the results are good, then you're okay. May God bless you and each and every one of us for a very successful, very successful and joyful and happy week. Thank you very much for taking this time. Hope you have a great day.